This is Abexolute, the first portable game console totally focused on streaming games that I could test for you. In it, you will be able to play Game Pass games through xCloud, GeForce Now, or any other cloud gaming service. What's up players? Alright, I am Fiaspo and following. Abexolute came in this simple cardboard box, already with a protective bag for to be able to take it wherever you want, which is made of a resistant material and a USB Type-C cable to load your console. The video game has a considerable size, I can compare it here with a Nintendo Switch and Ionio 2 for you to have an idea, and it has a very bold design, with a futuristic vibe, and when turned on, its buttons. It has an internal LED that makes it very stylish. Mine came in this black color, but there is also a white version. Its analogs are hall sensor, that is, they will not drift and they have similar sizes. With the Nintendo Switch analog sticks, it's a small size for those who are used to it. With the Xbox and PlayStation controls, but it didn't harm me at all during my game. It also has the triggers with this same technology to increase the useful life of the button. And it's perfect for racing games, having a long trip, which means that depending on the pressure you put on the button, the car picks up speed according to your strength. I found the D-pad and buttons that came with the Xbox standard to be very comfortable and easy to use. Make more precise commands when releasing a combo in a fighting game or some power special in some specific game. In addition, it has four buttons on the front of the console ranging from start and select and the others to help navigate the console running Android 12. It has volume buttons on top and a console on off button or leave it on the rest screen just like a conventional cell phone. At the bottom we have a headphone jack, a USB Type-C port for charging, and a slot to put a memory card if you want. Now regarding its power, the advantage of these consoles focused on streaming is exactly that. Focus on the build quality of the buttons, screen quality, and mainly on the internet network card. As games are not running natively on it, you don't need to have a very powerful processor, which in theory would make video games cheaper. But just out of curiosity, it has an MT8365 processor, 4GB RAM, 64 or 32GB of internal memory. You can choose a 7-inch LTPS LCD screen that is beautiful to play with, very good brightness and contrast control, with 60Hz of frequency, a 5200 mAh battery that easily passes 8 hours of duration, Bluetooth and a 2TR Wi-Fi module that has a better technology to receive your internet signal and have a high quality when playing via streaming. When you turn it on for the first time, you'll already notice a very pleasant interface to move around. Even though it's an Android system, it has a dashboard that looks like a video game, it doesn't look like that you are playing with a cell phone like it happens with Chinese consoles, which already we analyze here on the channel. I liked it, I thought it was very intuitive to use. The only thing I didn't like is that it, it's not multitasking, it doesn't let you open multiple apps at once, and it's worth remembering that this console version I received is not the final version of the product. They sent a test version to analyze, and the version that will be mass produced for the final public will be in an even better quality in the carcass and also in the system. That since the day I received it until today, it has already received several updates, and it delivers what it promises, I was able to test Microsoft's xCloud to play games from Game Pass Xbox without major problems obvious that sometimes there are some crashes, but then it is normalized. However, I haven't particularly been able to adapt much with cloud gaming. I can see a slight delay, even if minimal, which is common on these services, but they are improving a lot. This is not a limitation of the console. And yes of the service. Okay, I managed to play Forza very calmly. I played a little on Ben 10 Power Trip that it's an open world adventure game and a bit of Mortal Kombat too. But MK is a fighting game and games like that need a lot of precision mainly to play online in competitive mode, so there's no console via streaming that will do miracle about it. But you can have fun with the vast library of games available on xCloud bundled with Game Pass. But there was something that bothered me a lot, which was the audio while I was playing. To notice a certain kind of crackle in the audio, which for those with a more refined ear will notice, having some small breaks, and I couldn't identify why this happened. It wasn't an internet problem, since I have a 600 megabytes connection here, and I played close to the router, but it's a problem it didn't present while I played the same game via streaming on my iPhone. So it could be a problem with the Xbox app for Android, because this audio problem does not happen when I watch a video on YouTube, play games, Android natives, or even remote play to play PS5. And speaking of PS5, if you have one or a PS4, you'll be able to play on Abexolute without major problems. And here the quality is better than playing xCloud, but that's because the video game is in your house, 
so the ping and response time is much faster, and has virtually no delay. If you have an Xbox at home, or a PC with Steam, you can also stream to your portable smoothly and enjoy your library of games. I played a bit of Crash Bandicoot to see if I would have trouble hitting the jumps, but it felt like I was playing directly on the PS5, the experience was excellent. But there is one detail, to play using the laptop's own buttons, you will need use an alternative application to stream, because the official Sony app works normally, but it does not recognize the control of the video game itself. There is a bus that if you want play on the controller and not with touches on the screen, it needs to be with an original PS5 or PS4 controller, which I think is a slut. So to play decently here, I had to download PSPLAY Remote Play which is another unofficial application that has on Google Play, but it is not free, and I had to pay 33 reyes, so be aware of that. Now, even though Abexolute says it's not an Android-focused gaming laptop, you will be able to play some lighter games, like Horizon Chase, which is a great Brazilian racing game, which is a spiritual successor to the legendary Top Gear from Super Nintendo. Funny that Top Gear was a very popular game here in Brazil, but in the rest of the world, people don't even know that much. And the experience is excellent on this big screen, and it recognized the control in a good way. Another game that I played a lot and beat on the console was my favorite PS1 game, the Castlevania Symphony of the Night in the official version released for mobile phones. I bought it for one Brazilian real real in promotion and I was finally able to reset. I even made the two castles in two hours of gameplay, just doing what was necessary to finish the game. I had never finished him so fast, it was really fun and I felt a certain ease. Even send the magic commands in this game using the D-pad or the analog stick around here. But if you want a console to play emulators, for the price, it's not that interesting. You'll be able to play a lot of old Nintendo 64 or PlayStation 1 games, or whatever. Another older console like Super Nintendo and Mega Drive Down. You can even take a chance on some lighter PSP games, but it doesn't have that much power. And it wasn't even thought for that. Really the focus here is solely and exclusively for streaming games. Abexolute is a portable console that falls into a different category and hits the market. Now in June to compete with video games like the Logitech G Cloud which is costing their $300 which would be around 1500 reyes here in Brazil, and there is also the most recently announced PlayStation Q Lite that we still do not know the price. However, Abexolute is selling for $209 in its cheapest version of 32GB, which in today's quotation would come out around 1000 reyes here in Brazil. What I particularly think is a high price for us Brazilians considering that this universe of portable video games is getting more and more competitive, mainly due to the amount of Chinese consoles on the market that have a similar price and a greater power. Bearing in mind that some, in the same price range, can already run PSP without problems and even PS2 games like the Anburnic 505, which even runs games via streaming without problems too, but in return it has a much smaller screen. I particularly liked what I saw for its category which is games via streaming. It is the cheapest compared to its competitors, but it is difficult to fight against the Chinese in this case. Its strong point here is having a good quality construction and a large screen that I really liked. While most Chinese notebooks have power and want to be small, the Abexolute. It is for those people who want to play current games in greater comfort. If you are interested in the console, I'll leave the official store link here in the description, or in the QR code here on the screen. They shipped to Brazil and the whole world, and I was not taxed. This video was not sponsored, but I received the console for free to do this review. For you with my sincere opinions. If you liked my analysis, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to follow our next videos, because I have a lot of interesting console to show you. And if you were curious to know the Chinese laptop that runs PS2, I'll leave the video right here to watch. Thanks for watching.